I've been carrying on with a married woman. Knowing you know. And now the, uh, chickens are coming home to roost. I got a note. A blackmail note, you know. Come across so everybody knows. I guess you know what that would do to me. I guess that would be pretty awkward. Awkward? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anne would throw me right out of my keister. I mean, it's her store. It's her family's store, Ed. It's her store. I serve at the indulgence of goddamn ownership. Lady's husband would know. How much do they want? Ten thousand dollars. I don't. I don't know what to do, Ed. I don't know what I can do. Even though I know who the son of a bitch is. You know who who is the son of a bitch, the blackmailer. I know who he is. It's no one you know. It's it's a businessman from Sacramento, a goddamn pansy, Ed. Tried to rope me into some crackpot scheme. I heard him out, and then I told him to go to hell. And the very next day, the very next day, I get a note, the blackmail note, asking me for the same amount of money he asked me for. The very next day, ten thousand dollars. How did he know that you were seeing all He stayed at the hotel that I went to with the uh, lady in question. He must have seen us. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Because that's my capitalization on the annex. That's my operation. Christ almighty, I... That's what I was just talking to Doris about down there, a way to get, get the money from the store that we could hide from Anne. Doris, she was, she was pretty hot about that, God bless her. Bezlin, Ed. I'm embezzling from my own goddamn wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 